Omnigen CEO, Leslie Chung, joins me in the studio now. Leslie, good to see you again. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, you were recently featured on uh, Channel 7, which was a, a pretty big milestone there. I'm um, talking through cholangiocarcinoma and, and uh, a disease-free patient. Uh, can you take us through that interview and, and uh, what that was all about? Absolutely. So cholangiocarcinoma, otherwise known as bile tract cancer. So as you know, uh, our mass study, our CF33 uh, study that has four different arms, has a few patient on that has bile tract cancer. And one in particular has had a complete remission for over a year and a half. And so Channel 7 caught news of it. And then um, in addition to that, the CEO of the Colangio Foundation here in Australia, uh, they got to interview him and he is actually a bile tract cancer survivor uh, from a few years back. He too was on a clinical trial and that was his last sort of stitch effort. And so he has been living as a complete responder and he is uh, riding his bike around Australia as well. And they interviewed another cholangio or bile duct cancer patient on there. So it came really nice together. And what's more important is that we not only have a remission a patient, we've got another, uh, a few patients that has come on, but um, what's important for today is the fact that our OASIS study, so this is a study that is our oncolytic virus that expresses or flags the tumor types with CD19 and then combines with a product called blinotumumab. So in that combination, you can obliterate uh, solid tumors or let the solid tumors be seen by CD19 targeted. So you've got two or three medicine um, working in there together. So today we announced that we have our second patient on the study, but our first intravenous patient who happens to be a bile duct cancer. So um, it's been quite serendipity in that uh, today is actually cholangiocarcinoma day uh, in Australia. And so here we have our first patient into our OASIS study with bile tract cancer. So Leslie, can you talk us through this OASIS study and, and what the goals and objectives are? Sure. So, I mean, it's always about patient is our North Star. And so we always focus on the patient. We already have evidence from the mass study that we can affect change in a carcinoma tumor microenvironment. We've seen a couple of patients and again, again one in particular in complete remission for more than a year and a half. And so with this OASIS study, we're really dose escalating and we're at a pretty decent dose as a monotherapy and in intratumoral as well as intravenous. And so we're getting sites up. There's roughly about uh, 52 patients, upwards of 52 patients that will be enrolled in the OASIS study. And this will be in combination with an approved drug called Blincido, which is blimatumumab, and it's, it's produced and marketed by Amgen. So it's in that combination that we really want to affect change in the solid tumor and the tumor microenvironment. And as I said, we're just delighted that, uh, and pretty lucky that, and what a coincidence that we have our IV, our first patient into the IV arm, that's a bile duct cancer type. So our objective is to reach a recommended phase two dose, and then hopefully move that right into a, a stage where we can start enrolling for a registrational study. So we'll, we'll have to see. It's a meaningful, powerful therapy. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how this patient and all our other patients do on the study. And as you just mentioned uh, previously, it's a, it's a major coincidence that that just happens to be on Colangio Day. Car yes, so Colangio carcinoma is not actually um, a big disease type, but yet here we are. Uh, you know, I think um, it's it's it was meant to be. It was meant to be, and I and I hope the best for uh, that patient as well as our studies ongoing. Leslie, hope it all goes well for you and thanks for your time. Thank you, Jonathan.